Back, it's time to get a little sporty. Sprinter Mark Otieno is now free to resume his athletics career after getting the green light from Athletics Kenya. Otieno can now train with other athletes and compete both locally and internationally following the lapse of his two-year doping suspension. James Japicho Pondo has that story. Serving his two-year ban, as Sprinter Mark Otieno is back, Otieno was banned by the Athletics Integrity Unit after testing positive for anabolic steroid methasterone. His ban was reduced to two years instead of mandatory four after the panel concluded that the athlete did not intentionally use the banned substance. We catch up with Otieno at the Kasarani Stadium two days after receiving his letter from the Athletics Kenya giving him the go-ahead to resume training. He narrates how he got the news about his ban just seven hours before running his first Olympic game race in Tokyo, Japan in 2021. It was really shocking because I was really looking forward to compete at the Olympic stage and now it's something that you know niko umepatiwa alafu tena imesnatch wa imetolewa kwa mkono wako so it was quite difficult the 29 year old made a resounding impact on the track during the Kenya National World Championship trials clocking 10 seconds in the 100 meters race to qualify for the Olympic games he believes that with proper training and determination he will continue from where he left off in 2021 I've been guys are running yeah guys are running out there <laughs> So coming back, um, I just want to take each step at a time. I just want to enjoy the process, start where I left off, and just to see where this thing will take us. Kenya has been under the radar of World Anti-Doping Agency with many athletes getting banned due to doping. This has made the government together with the Athletics Kenya in conjunction with Anti-Doping Agency of Kenya, ADAC, to roll out a comprehensive plan to curb the vice. Otieno believes more can be done to help the athletes. Of course, there are some places where that we need to um come up like in terms of building a a laboratory over here because you know when you're being tested you know um you'll get your results after two or three weeks otino's compatriot ferdinand tomanyala has been doing great in the 100 meters and the four by 100 relays where kenya has qualified for the world championships in budapest hungary later in august otino smiles sharing his expectation on being on the track once again with the africa record holder if i check out the athletes out of him what remains he's still a human being you know and that's one thing that we we built when we were in Tokyo because he was my roommate and we really had so much fun and I realized that he's more than an athlete to be honest. Makotino is optimistic that Kenya can produce the best sprinters in the world with proper facilities and early identification of raw talents across the country. <laughs> if anyone, <laughs> you can only hear. I can hear. After being out for two years, Marco Tieno is now ready to come back to the sports that he loves and looking forward to major competitions, especially the Paris Olympic 2024. James Opondo for Citizen Sports, Kasarani, Nairobi.